Hello guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to my Kirsten Ashton save non-league the Premier League. Well guys, since you last were with us, we haven't been doing so bad. Let's have a quick look. So, you you seen that we lost all these junky games, right? Okay, so Boston United 1-0, Gainsborough 2-2 two -two draw, York we won in the 92nd minute with a beautiful free kick at the end of, edge of the box and Paul Marshall put it top corner to keep us far left. Unbelievable goal. And then we went out and drew one each with Southport. But the good news is, in the league, if it opens, there we go, we are out of the relegation zone. Well, obviously, as you can see, we're very, very close to it, like 15 the 17 you know if they win and we lose we'll be in that relegation zone so and obviously we're playing non eating today here 21st in the table so i'm ex hoping for three points today hoping for three points if we get three points fantastic so our our aim is to get away from is to avoid relegation from the board we're currently on schedule for that so that's all good that's all good now today's team if i just go back so as you can see, it's Nuneaton v Kirsten Ashton, and Asher away, and ugh. submit team. Okay, let's have a quick. Uh, she clicked on tactics. See, you think I've never done this before, guys? I do this all the time for you guys, and today I just mess it up. One second. So here we are. So the team today is going to be Gokic and Goal. Brooker, Brady, O'Reilly, and Adu, who's not been playing the best recently. A left back. I've had to bring Leggett in quite a few times. Midfield trio of Lawton, Marshall, and Grant. And then up front, we got Lofts, Numo, and Hartley. Now, Lofts has come in because two guys have been playing terrible. And Lofts has scored a few in the last few games. And he was more than he wanted game time, so we gave him game time. The other player that was more than for game time... Isn't even on the bench was El Beckery. He played one game, got a rating of 5.9. I just ruled him out. It was like, nah, he's not playing ever again. But as you can see, on the bench, we've got Durrell, Leggett, Peytner, who scored in the last game, Dole, and Broccoli. So let's get in the dressing room. Let's get this game started. Hand it over to the assistant. There we go. And let's see if we can nick three points today. Nice little handshake. I'm just going to check that I'm on control and nothing else. I don't know. I still haven't learned all these. I'm on counter-attack. No, we want to control this game. Counter-attack was like two games ago against York. And we won that game. And straight away from kickoff, straight over the... Cr they went for it early on. non eating, huh? Didn't even go down as a shot. So let's get this lower half of the table up for you guys. So you can see how it's all progressing down the bottom end of this table. So as you can see, we are literally on on the tails of Leamington and Alfreton. We have the corner. Hartley whips it in. Lawton. Oh, couldn't get on the end of it. Was defended. Lawton. Out to Brady, who should have scored in our last game from a corner. Front post. Missed it. Put it straight over the bar. Plays it inside to Marshall. Marshall, Numo, Hartley, Numo. Oh, high and wide. Come on, Numo. So as I was saying, we're hot on the tail of Alfred and Leamington. Now, I would like to get, if we can get three points here, that would push us up in there with them. Because as you can see, our goal difference is very similar to theirs. Alfred are losing, so that's a bonus right there. They're 1-0 down to AFC Telford. This is what we need. Now we need to go and take this game by the scruff. Bradford PA are winning. So that's going to put them above us. As you can see, they have just leapfrogged us. And I'm hoping that... <laughs> be hoping we can't afford to lose this. I do... Oh, I do give me heart failure every game recently. Loss can't win it. Numa wins it back. Loss plays it inside the Marshall. Back to Grant. Grant back to Marshall, plays a beautiful ball in, but Lost can't get there, but Numo does, does he keep it in, he does, oh he skinned his man as well, oh, couldn't get a loss, Marshall, oh he's hit the board work, oh, why didn't it go in, what do we have to do to score, 
Kirsten Ashton should have been 1-0 up. Marshall with a fantastic shot against the post. Don't know what we have to do to score. That was a fantastic chance. And Anumo's looking complacent already. They're looking nervous, but they're on the attack again. Maybe I might have to put this counter attack. And Walden nearly scored. It's the second effort Walden's had on goal there in a few seconds. Can't believe it gave both shots as on target, but whenever we hit the post, it didn't give it out as on target. Um, I might actually change this back to counter attack rather than control, because at the minute, we are they are coming at us quite well. Let's see if that changes us up a little. I know it's been fighting pressure, but we've won the ball, do. Lofts, Grant, no one in front of him. Marshall's gone through the gap. Marshall, oh, the bar again, Marshall. And Spenny Moore have just taken a lead against Leamington down in this end of the table. So now they're putting pressure on us as well. And Spennington, Moore are 1-0. It did say they were 1-0 up, but it hasn't updated it on the table. They're 2-0 up now, Spenny Moore. Oh, my word. They're in the same amount of points as us. It's goal difference keeping us out of relegation at the minute. And this draw against Dunedin is not what I need. As Bradford, who are winning, are now up to 16. That's where we should be. And it looks like it's all now coming down to Nuneaton. As they have the attack again. Intercepted, but it falls back to Nuneaton. Maybe sticking the control was probably the better option. I'll do with the header out, but again, it's not eating pick up the loose ball. It's like they want it more than we do. That's what's bound to be our side ref, but we'll let you play on. Brooker, no! Oh, Gocky, if they're coming out, son, take the ball. Don't. Oh, oh, Jesus, man. We're... I think I'll have to change it back to uh, control because. Can't play counter-attack football. It's too dangerous for my heart. Don't think I can handle it. We give away the free kick. Lawton with the foul. I feel this was our ideal game to get away from the relegation zone. Get some points between us. Because at the minute, one slip up and we're in that relegation zone again. And I just we just worked so hard to get out of it. And it looks like we're heading back towards it. Because non eating have come out. All guns blazing at us. I know they're at home, but come on, we played away to York and beat them at, at their own ground, and we absolutely tore them apart. Now I, I don't know why we're not tearing this team apart because they're below us, struggling more than us. Can see they have a lot more goals. It's about time we now took some of these teams by the scruff and started kicking ass. But we're thirty, we come up thirty minutes in, twenty-seven minutes in, and it's still nil-nil, and it's. It's all nice to see that Spenny Moore bit in Leamington, which puts us a bit easier for them. But Bradford bit in Brackley here above us as well. But that's not... I need Kirsten. I need the Nash to score a goal here. Then I can relax a little. For the minute, it's too close. Lawton intercepts the pass. Booker. Marshall. Grant. Beautiful ball over the top. Lofts is in. Look, Lofts. And he's put it wide. Oh my good God. Just I picked them up at the start of this game. Oh, and I would like to apologize, guys, for the graphics jumping during the highlights. My laptop is dying. Graphics wise, is dying. If I put pressure in certain parts of my laptop, the graphics goes crazy. The graphics card chip, sorry, chip on a laptop, is literally on its way out. Um, so hence the why the graphics are jumping. I still haven't fixed my desktop yet because it's Christmas. My kids come first, unfortunately, before my, me and my own ideas. So all my money's gone on my kids, all three boys. So my desktop has to hold out, which I know doesn't help the YouTube channel. But the YouTube channel's not big. It's not long started. And I'd rather have my kids have an awesome Christmas than me worrying about Christmas and having an awesome looking PC. So I apologize, we'll have to stick with this for a few, probably until the end of January, and then I'll have my PC fixed, and then we'll have a decent graphics card and everything else, and we shouldn't have any more jumping, as Lofts blasted over the top of the crossbar again. Not good enough. And we're caught up the half time. Their fitness is gone. Our ratings are okay. 
Not greatest, it's very similar to theirs, but they've got better written than some of their players than we have. They also have an injury, which is pretty good. So, I'm hoping that... Oh, loss has gone down to 6.3 now. I might take loss off and bring on Peytner up front. The last game I put loss on the wing and brought Peytner up front. And that worked really well, having two strikers in the wing and took Hartley off. But Hartley's having a slightly better game than them. So, as you can see, we haven't even had a shot on target yet. That's just not good enough for us. Like, they've had all the possession as well. So, this is not the performance I was expecting from our team today at all. Especially the last few games have been so, so well. So aggressive. Like the last few games I've been having to say that would have been great. But this time, I ain't impressed. Well, Inumo, you've been crap. I've got to tell you how it is. You're just shockingly crap. I'm having to bite my own tongue here. Right. Painter on up front. Lofts, you're out of there. Big belly painter. Target man. Yes, sir. You can be a target man on attack all day long. Right, that is the only change we're going to make for now. We'll see how it is a bit the 60th minute. I've got Duel on the bench and I've got Leg on the bench. So, one change. Loss has had his chances. He's playing he's three over, miles over the bar. We haven't hit the target, so it's time to change it up. Grant over the top, but he's never going to get there. And that'll be the end of this highlight. Told you. Read it like a book. I'm telling you guys. Busy root this. Hey. <laughs> but yes, Nan Eaton aren't doing so bad. Um oh, their free kick. Chambers, their best man on the pitch. Oh. Hit the wall though. And I do clears up. Though as I was gonna do was move this back down to the bottom half. As <coughs> Stockport are 2 0 up. That doesn't affect us, then we're Charlie, or Harrogate, or Boston. It's Brackley, Bradford, Leamington, Alfredton, Spenny Moor. Are the teams that affect us. North Ferriby are releasing 1 0, so not really worried about them. And their main man's gone off the pitch now, but they've still got Nicholson on the bit on the pitch, which is their other dangerous man. And who'd York just score past? Who are York playing? It's none of the teams down here, because they're all pretty much playing each other. Bradford 2 0 up over Brackley, who are just above them. Leamington are playing. So, I can't remember who Leamington are playing. And Alfreton. So, guys, this is not not many highlights of the second half. I was expecting a hell of a lot more from us in the second half than this. I'm going to have to push us on attacking. <coughs> Let's go for it. Let's go attacking. See if we can get a goal from going attacking. They have their kickoff from the keeper. He drops it to his feet, pumps it forward. Can we intercept it? Yes, Lawton does. Billy Painter scored in the last game. Enumo plays it back in the Grant. Grant, if he squares it, he does. Marshall! Yes! Paul Marshall and a Nasher won nothing up. That's what we needed. Change it to attack, and boom! Up the 17th. Paul Marshall. Enumo Painter held it up nicely. Lawton won the ball first. Back to Enumo. Beautiful ball down the line to Grant. Great play by the attacking midfielder. Switches it off this partner, Marshall, and bang. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we needed. As that text line said, scintillating stuff from non from us against them. But they, they have the highlights straight from kickoff. That's kind of worrying. And Leamington have equalised against Spenny Moore. That's why they're above us again in the table. Joint, joint 16th, you might as well say, because it's goal difference. But Peytner now... Out wide to Hartley. Hartley plays it back in the Marshall. Grant. Grant. First touch was off on Nemo. Oh, see his corner. If we score another goal, we'll leapfrog Leamington by goal difference. This would be great if we could get a second. Hartley with a corner now. Whips it in. Oh, couldn't get on the end of it. But Peytner now picks it up. Will he play it straight back out the line? No, he's going to cut it inside the Lawton. I would have played it out down the line. There you go. Hartley. Peytner doesn't get there. Penalty. Oh, offside. Oh, come on. I thought that was a penalty. I thought that's why he's blown up. Sorry. It was solely for an offside.
against Jack Hartley, who wasn't even involved. But it's their kick out, their kick out again, free kick, pumps it well forward. Booker lays it back to Gokic. Good, good. Now, what can we do? Can we score from here again? That would be lovely if we could. I might say that, and then they go and score. Gokic, but a big kick out. Enuma up. Enuma wins it. Billy Payton or the Grant. Played enough through the gap. He does an Enuma. Oh, that had to be a save from the keeper. It was. Tipped it over for a corner. Can we dominate from the corner this time? Hartley will whip it in. Nobody there again, but Marshall picks it up and thumps one, but way wide by Marshall. Way, way wide. And we're up to 20 points. We're almost halfway through the season. I would like to get a few more points if we could. 45, I think, secures us in this league for next season. And Nicholson, their dangerous man, plays it on, but we win it back. Oh, Marshall plays a silly ball, and Gokki's been conceded, and we have conceded... In the 65th minute, our own mistakes have led to a goal. And we're back down in 19th. Absolutely shocking to defend it. Nicholson here. Played a ball of the ball in the wall. And we win the ball back. Marshall with the stupid. Try to pump it over the top. Intercept it. Gokic bit his near post. Should be ashamed of himself for a goalkeeper. Just not good enough from the Nash. Absolutely shocking. I don't know who, what else to do. Might bring Hartley off, you know. And get Dole on that wing. And maybe bring Brady off. 6.3 is not good enough. Let's make those two changes. Leggett, I know, can't play centre-back. But he's going to anyway. He played centre-back in the last game too. So let's get George Brady off. He's been playing out of But today he's awful. And then we'll take off Hartley. And bring Dole on the wing. Boom. Just like that. Confirm that. Yes. Let those changes go through. And now we got to go for it. Don't we? Let's go overload. Let's try and get a winner. We'll go overload and we'll put it back to maybe control. If not Fairbairn, I 3 0 down. <coughs> Excuse me. Everyone's looking nervous. I'm not surprised. We shouldn't have conceded. So it's such a stupid goal either. I do. O'Reilly pumps it forward. But that's going to be easy for non eating to clear up. Trotman. He'll just pump that down the line. Told you. And the knee in the Hickley. And they're in behind again. Walton's away. He's in behind my three centre backs. And it's 2-1. But he's offside. That's okay. We can survive. This is killing me guys. Can't believe how bad we're doing. Can't believe we're drawing on eating. This should be an easy game for us in the end. The way we've been playing this season, like after beating York and that, I thought we would have literally went out here and spanked non eating. But it looks like it's not to be. Looks like we can't seem to get the points whenever we need them most. Like York or what in the league? Further up than we are anyway. And they've got a free kick. O'Reilly with the header out. But it's gone straight back to them. Nobody there again. Oh, good save by Gokic. And that could have been another goal there. Not good enough. I don't know. We seem to be able to pick points up against teams higher up in the table than what we do against teams down. Look, York are 10th. We beat them 3-2. <laughs> Only two games ago. And we can't beat a team that got absolutely hammered by York. 5-0. Because I don't know why. It's a very similar team right here, and we just can't seem to do it. Gokic with a thumping ball forward. Can Dool get on the end of it? No, he cannot, and here come Nuneaton again. Oh, but Peytner has picked it up. Big Billy, and he's giving it away. Oh, John, I this overload is not working at all. Let's go back to standard Gokic. Looks like we'll just have to play out in the last 10 minutes for a draw. 10th draw of the season. I don't know if that's good enough or not. Up towards Peytner. Lawton. Oh, terrible pass. Can we not pass the feet? Because all we're doing is putting pressure on ourselves. And that's a great ball forward again. We win it back again. Can Dole do something with it? No, he's giving it away as well. Pass a simple fucking ball to feet. Excuse my language, guys. Jesus. 
I'm Walton Zen. He's in. And it's a goal. My good god, our own mistake again. And for the second time in this game, we have made a mistake, and the team below us are 2 1 up. It's ridiculous. Don't even want to look at it again. I'm annoyed now. This was our chance to pull away from the bottom half of the table. And now we go out and get spanked by a useless team as well. Not even a decent team. We got a far better team than they have. A Duke. O'Reilly. Beautiful ball over top. But Pinner's not that quick. He's never going to get there. Easy for Trotman. And that's an easy clearance again. Lawton picks it up. Grant. Pinner's offside, is he not? Billy Pinter can't even put it past him. Like, I signed him in because he's a better striker than what this division even needs. And he still can't finish. Now you see my issues. Enumo. Look, they all are in the middle and then they all walk out every time. Pinter. I got to look at the corner setup because this is just ridiculous. None of them stay in the middle. A dude thumps it forward towards Enumo. Free kick to them. Really? Oh, he's going to. There you go. Where's I? I have to go overload. I can't. And I'm going to shout demand more as well. Come on. Where is it? I'm starting to annoy myself now as well. Demand more. Get it shouted out there. Come on. We need an equaliser. Two minutes. Come up with two minutes left. We're in the last three minutes. Yeah, don't care if the number got booked. He deserved it. If he shoved him for no reason. Come on. Let's do this. Can't believe we're losing. We're 1 0 up and we're throwing away a 1 0 lead to a team below us in the table who are absolutely awful compared to us recently. Like, they get spiked by York. We go out and beat York. And then we come out, we draw the next game and lose again. It's ridiculous. Just not what we need. Like, I want to pull away from this relegation, so now I'm putting ourselves back in it, so we are. But hey, that's football, isn't it? Welcome to non-league. <laughs> we might make it to the Premier League, maybe in about ten years at this rate. But we'll see. We'll try to go to this division by the end of by the end of this season, start of next season. If we aren't relegated, if we're relegated, then it's, it's over, and we'll have to start a game with someone else. But we'll see what happens. Can we get an equaliser? No, they every time they're winning the ball. Every time we play the same formation as well. But they are literally winning every ball. Walton's, is that a penalty? Oh my good god. O'Reilly has given away a penalty in the 92nd minute of 94. Gokke needs to save it. He's guessed right in every penalty so far. He hasn't saved any yet. Gokke's wrong way. Oh my good god. Absolutely. Shocking. Not eaten deserved the victory. They've been a better team in the second. Well, we we started off this better team in the second half. But since they pulled it. Since they've got black. Like, I don't even know what went wrong. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a massive relegation battle now. Painter. Oh, just lost the ball again. Jesus Christ, man. You are crap. How does he play? How did he play in League 1 and League 2 all, nearly all his life? Because he's awful. He's only scored one goal. If Walton scores again, I'll be raging. Oh, he's outside. I thought he'd give an hour penalty. There. I was about to say, Jesus, come on. Just pump a gocket straight into the penalty area. No, it's all over. Well done, Nunny, and he's deserved it. Even the stats say he's deserved it. Well, guys, sorry for my grumpiness, but uh, we should never have lost this game, in my opinion. That should have been an th easy three points in the bag for us. But as normal, we don't show up to... The games that matter. Games that don't matter we show up to. But we'll continue on. We'll see you in a couple more games time. If you enjoyed watching me get bit again. Thumbs up. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our other series. Or any of the other content on the page. Plenty more new content coming out very very soon. Obviously I'll hopefully fix the graphics in the new year. Because I'll have my desktop fixed by then with any luck. And then we shouldn't have any more jumping, which will improve the video quality for you guys as well. So again, thank you very much for joining us. Have a good one, guys. All the best. Bye.